guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, very exciting news that I have been waiting for for a long time. I got plant mail, which I'm very excited about because these are my allocations that came in. I just can't even, just can't even. Okay, so I ordered from The Green Escape. They're a little brand on Etsy. Um, so I didn't realize that all three of them were going to be in this package, but... Hopefully everything's okay. Current temperature outside is about um, 62 degrees. So hopefully when it was shipped, it came with the heat pack. There wasn't really an option, but hopefully they were just nice and they put a heat pack in it. But currently, I'm trying to not buy so many duplicates of the plants I already own because I do have a couple plants that have <laughs> have quite a bit of and if I want to get more plants and learn how to care for more plants I need to stop buying the same ones so that's the kind of thing that I'm going through right now but ugh. these are so hard to open the current situation is I currently have a black velvet, and I think that's about the only one I have. I do have an elephant ear, but it's not a considered an alopecia, but I do have a black velvet, and that one has been a pain in the to keep up with, because I feel like every single time that it grew a new leaf, and I was so excited about it, one would die, or the one, or two of them would die. So it's been a pain, but weirdly, this winter, she's been doing great. She has four leaves. After starting off with about seven leaves, she grew one and then all of them died and then having one. Now she has four leaves and she's doing great. The leaves are huge. So hopefully that means I'm doing something right. I have been fertilizing lately, so that should help too. But yeah, so I decided to get three more. Some of them I'm pretty obsessed with. I will... I will go ahead and put the add a screenshot of what I have or the ones that I have somewhere over here that I got. But I'm gonna have to read the names off to you because they're brand new and I'm not used to them. So let me see. Um so oh nice! They have a little plant care um information sheet which is actually pretty nice. I didn't realize that they would have one of these, but they even give me a little packing slip. At the time, which kind of sucks, at the time that I bought these, right when I pressed purchase, they had a sale going on so that if you bought three plants, you would get the fourth one free. I didn't see that till last minute. I did message the seller to see if they could do anything about it, but um, I don't think they saw it in time. But all of these are starter plants. Oh my God! Oh, I'm scared. What are these? I have no idea. There's three of these. I'm not sure what these are, but they don't look like... Are these the plants? That's so weird. Yeah. These are okay. So these are the plants, which is very interesting wrapping. I'm very sure of it. Um, they did, <laughs> they did put names on them, so that's kind of helpful. Um, let's open. I'm going to butcher these names, FYI. Um, let's go with the Alocasia Friedrich starter plant. Friedrich. Hopefully, I'm saying that right, but that's what it's called. I'm so scared. I didn't realize there's. Oh god, this is a little stressful. Ah! I've never seen plants wrapped like this. This is very interesting. It's extremely interesting. This tape. Oh, it's so cute. It's adorable. 
So their wrapping is really, really nifty because they, I'm about to get soil everywhere. They taped the plant to this and they wrapped it, just like kind of rolled it like a little taco, which is actually pretty cool. I'm trying to cut this, hold on. Cut this off, hopefully. Take off the tape. Try not to hurt you, sorry. So here she is. She comes with two leaves. She's gonna be so pretty. So here she is. She comes with two leaves. Like I said, so they do have a starter plant. So I think you have to have a two plant minimum when you buy starter uh, plants. This one shows that it was um, fourteen dollars and fifty cents, and that was from Etsy. I am in the U.S. Um, that does not include shipping, but that's just what it is. Oh my god. This is a really, really good root system. And I can tell the roots are very dry. So hopefully I got to dunk this bad boy in some potting today. But how cute. Look at, how, look at those roots. Beautiful. Extra white. She's adorable. Okay, so I got to... So excited I just can't um I gotta I gotta put her down okay I'm gonna put you right here okay that was the first one we're gonna go with it's called it's like a shortcut plant it's called the alocasia platinum bisma bisma plant I've seen these very rarely I don't really see them on any of the plant pages I am on but I have seen them in some different videos, but they are beautiful. They're such like a matte color. I'm like really excited about it. And I'm so glad nothing happened to them during shipping. It's so cute. This one, ah! this one has even more. Oh my God. She's beautiful. Oh. oh, I can't. I can't even contain myself. <laughs> it is a little bit of a pain in the butt to get these off of this paper, but I guess, I mean, this looks how it's done. Mm. I don't want to hurt it. These roots are phenomenal as well. I mean, it's hard to get plants off online and, um, and the root systems or something always goes wrong. This has extremely good root. These roots are phenomenal. Wow. Okay. Oh my gosh. I'm very impressed. But look at the leaves. Look at how beautiful. It almost looks like a brain. <laughs> so that's the biggest one. It came with four leaves. Here's the second one. So as I'm going to show you in like the picture side by side, I'm pretty sure maybe I already showed you already, but it, it gets to like a matte green and um, it had the middle, those, those veins turn black. So it's going to be like a really cool, almost reminds me of Frankenstein type plant. But oh my gosh. I just can't. This is just, look at that. Like, that's beautiful. Oh, how. D <laughs> the green escape has really got it going on. These plants are awesome. Okay. For the last one, this is called the Wilted Dream. Sorry, Quilted Dream. And it's called an Alocasia Sinata? Sinudata? Probably butchered that, but I try, guys. I try. Okay, let me see. You know, this I really did dog them for this wrapping, but obviously, this is the way to go because these plants, their leaves are in immaculate condition and they look so healthy, especially being shipped and stuff. I bought these before, uh, probably about the last week of December and I just got them now, and today is, I believe, the 9th, but they did take a week. Um, 
the the Planescape people took like a week of vacation or something, so they decided to deliver after. But this one has even more leaves than the last. I just need to stop. This needs to, I just need to stop doing this. <laughs> it has so many babies. First, okay, so the black velvet that I have is super finicky. I mean, also, it's beautiful, but it's very finicky. These seem like they grow, but they, the black velvet doesn't really grow babies. It just grows big leaves, like main adult leaves. These have little babies, which kind of very much interesting, like intrigue me. Like this one even shows, this one even has a little baby growing on the bottom. So look, in there, if you can see, there's another little plant growing, but look at this root system insane look at these roots it's a big root and then this is her she looks so pretty oh my gosh and then these are the little baby leaves that are coming out this is i just can't this this these plants so beautiful the roots are in immaculate condition. The plants are really healthy. Like, I mean, they, this one is, they are pretty dry, but I mean, that's just because during transit. I am beyond myself. They, they did such a good job. Such an amazing job with packaging these. And I just, I just cannot believe that. They did such a good job. Well, guys. Go head on, go head on to the Green Escape and order you guys some plants because obviously they do such an amazing job with transporting them and growing them because you get high quality plants. I didn't even get to tell you the rest of the prices. So the first one that we had, the the Friedrich, is this one was fourteen fifty, like I told you, and then you have the Alocasia Platinum Bisma. This one was $40. And this is the more intense one. This one was $40. And then you have the last one that I showed you was the Alocasia Sinuda, Sinata Quilted Dream. And this one was $16. And for starter plants, these look better and more high quality than any other place that you actually go to to buy them. So I am very much impressed. I will for sure be buying from them again with different other plants, but overall they did such a good job with packaging and see for yourself basically, but I am going to keep you guys updated with all the growth of these and I am beyond excited to start this journey with these. I'm excited. Well, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day.